Hello everyone, uh, today we will cover a topic that comes under nursing research and statistics. Uh, uh, we uh, will see before going for the nursing research study, our aim is to uh, know about the strength and weakness of the research study. Uh, whether it is applicable, practicable, uh, researchable, uh, what are the problems can be faced. Uh, so directly when we are uh, uh, doing the research study, uh, we will go with uh, so many uh, disadvantages or problems we will face. So for that avoiding uh, a small type of study we have to do. So that is our topic that is known as the pilot study. So pilot study it is otherwise known as uh, pre-testing or pilot experiment. So this is a small scale study done before conducting the main uh, research. Uh, so this will identify uh, all the components of the uh, research uh, parts and we can uh, easily uh, relate with uh, any problems or any uh, weakness or what is the strength of our uh, research study. So here uh, we will see what is the meaning. So meaning it is a uh, preliminary small scale uh, run uh, study that conducted uh, uh, by the uh, research uh, study. So this was given by the terrace. So any type of uh, uh, small scale study that is conducting before the main study then it is known as the pilot study. The pilot study help us to uh, determine the uh, uh, whether the hypothesis is uh, achieved or not and uh, as a test the uh, instruments or the tool that is present in the uh, uh, nursing research. So the, that will give a way uh, whether the hypothesis and the tools are in a uh, good manner for our research study. So next we will see what is the goal of the pilot study. So the go main goal of the pilot study will give us uh, the success of our uh, main research uh, project conduction. Then uh, second one is what is the objective. So the objective uh, it will uh, determine the uh, problems or weakness uh, that we can face uh, uh, for our main research study and uh, second one is uh, so whatever the procedure uh, we can able to take in order to uh, go for a, a larger version of uh, uh, main study. So this, uh, these are the main objectives and as we will see what are the purposes of uh, uh, pilot study. So purposes of the pilot study uh, this will be mainly benefited for the exp uh, experimenter or the researcher or the investigator. So uh, first one is this will uh, help the uh, testing of the hypothesis whatever the hypothesis we are framed in our research that hypothesis can be tested whether it is a null hypothesis or research hypothesis. Second one is it will analyze the variables that are used in our researchers. And the third one is it will uh, uh, know about uh, our uh, uh, instruments, how the instrument is, whether the instrument having validity and re reliability of the instruments can be tested and uh, the result can be uh, known. And we can uh, find out uh, how the instrument is organized, how it is uh, structured, how it is distributed, how it is gathered and what are the uh, weakness and what are the problems uh, that is present in the instruments or the tool that is uh, used in our research. And it will uh, uh, have a way for uh, doing our data collection method and determine the resources. Resources is very much essential that is the main is uh, time, uh, time period to conduct the research and uh, uh, what are the um, uh, money, material uh, uh, and the uh, person who is uh, needed for the research and uh, this will help us to uh, keen observe uh, for the subject uh, which is needed in our research and it will uh, determine the target uh, populations uh, uh, and uh, how to draw the uh, samples from the uh, populations uh, and we, uh, it will give an idea how to conduct a uh, research studies and this will uh, give the strength and weakness of the studies. So these are the major purposes that comes under the pilot study. Next we will see what are the uh, reasons for conducting the pilot study. First foremost reason uh, this will determine the feasibility of the uh, research work. Uh, second one is uh, this will uh, determine the uh, strength of the research design. Uh, how the research designing, how it is uh, working out, uh, so uh, what is the success of the research design, what is the weakness behind that, that can be determined. And third one is this will uh, uh, predict the uh, tool, whether the tool is uh, reliable, whether the tool is valid 
and uh, uh, how the tool is applicable uh, to the subject uh, and whether any problems are uh, uh, faced uh, while distributing the tool and uh, in the tool uh, any ambiguous uh, words are there uh, uh, the how the observing uh, observing the subject while they are uh, going with the uh, instrument so these all uh, can be measured uh, next one is uh, it will helps to determine the uh, data collection process and uh, this will uh, help us to achieve the uh, how the tabulation methods can be done how the data analysis uh, uh, process can be done and this will helps to determine uh, what are the problems uh, we are uh, facing in our research to allocate the uh, resources uh, that is needed for the uh, uh, main study uh, to, to determine it will give a show the way of uh, research uh, by determining the hypothesis uh, uh, how the hypothesis is moving whether the objectives is achieving or not for our uh, research and any ethical uh, problems that can also be uh, identified by uh, doing the pilot study and whatever the funds uh, or stakeholders uh, we are needed this pilot study will help uh, determine uh, to uh, bargain the funds for conducting our research study next we will see what are the advantages so advantages uh, uh, first advantages is mainly uh, th uh, this will identify the objectivity of the study uh, realistic uh, of the tool uh, it will uh, find out the practicability of the uh, main uh, research uh, uh, it will uh, determine the time uh, money material uh, and uh, man uh, uh, resources and uh, this will help us to give a uh, way for conducting the main study uh, what are the problems or uh, what are the uh, strength that is uh, uh, occurring for the uh, main studies and how we can overcome uh, all the problems for conducting the main studies and uh, this will uh, give us confidence to conducting the uh, main studies and uh, where we are uh, which uh, area we are selecting that can be uh, identified and this will give a target populations and this will give a clear cut uh, identification of uh, instruments uh, whether the instrument is uh, good enough uh, reliable and uh, uh, valid is there that we can identify these are the main advantages of the pilot study what is the disadvantage of the pilot study anyway they are giving a success for the main study also it doesn't have much uh, guarantee this pilot study doesn't have much guarantee because it is a small number of samples we are taking and uh, doesn't help in the statistical analysis way also and it have some uh, so many contamination contamination the subject we are taking for the uh, uh, so pilot study that same subject we can uh, use for the main study also the whatever the data we are collecting from the subjects uh, in the pilot study that same data we can use for the main study also so contamination can be happen uh, uh, during the uh, research period and uh, this will uh, also uh, uh, give a false result for the uh, main study also sometimes so these are the main uh, disadvantages uh, uh, that comes under the uh, pilot study so next we will see when we have to do the pilot study so uh, before going to the main study so we can do the pilot study in order to uh, find out our strength and weakness of the main study and we can go ahead with our main study while uh, doing a successful pilot study so today class we have seen about what is a pilot study what is the meaning what is the purposes what is the uh, reason for doing the pilot study what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages so today i am signing mrs nima next video will meet again thank you